How many more children will die before something is done to curb gun violence in the city of Norfolk? That's a question many activists are asking. The bloodshed that 10 on your side has covered over the past few days was front and center in last night's city council meeting. In taking back the community coverage, residents say the pandemic is a deadly public health crisis, but so is the gun violence. On the basketball court is where Christopher Edmonds should have been with his friends on a Wednesday morning. Instead, loved ones were gathering at his home to prepare for the long goodbye. Every day I go into these streets, these kids need to see somebody that looks like them, that understands what they're going through. Concerns about the uptick in violence dominated emotional public discussion Tuesday night at the city council meeting. One child is too many to lose. Many say gun violence, much of it involving children, should be addressed as a public health crisis. The mayor, in a prepared statement, announced plans to employ violence interruption programs as more guns are in younger hands. In 2020, NPD recovered 920 guns, a 16% increase from the 791 guns recovered in 2019. Clusters of guns have been recovered just outside downtown and on the south side where Christopher died. Stacy Robinson used to control drug markets on these streets. Today, he's working with City Hall to control crime. You've seen it deteriorate over decades. Yes. It must be heartbreaking for you. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, to see young kids uh, getting murdered that you just talked to two and three days ago, you know, it's, uh, it's very heartbreaking. City leaders are fine-tuning plans to adopt a multidisciplinary approach that is similar to the nationally recognized ceasefire program. Tonight at 6, a candlelight vigil, 630, will be held to remember 15-year-old Christopher Edmonds. The organizer of the event, Bilal Muhammad of Stop the Violence, says he is now taking a different approach. He will personally connect with gang members, whether they are armed or not to convince them to lay their weapons down. We have more tonight on wavy.com.